What is the latest on the HIV test window period? Hello, this is Mark Medicals with the latest on HIV cure news, treatment of HIV, HIV symptoms, and transmission of HIV. This video will cover the following questions and answers. 1. What are the different types of HIV tests? 2. What do HIV test kits detect? 3. What is the current HIV window period? 4. What is the best HIV test? 5. Can you be HIV positive and test negative? 6. Does HIV phobia cause HIV symptoms? Alright, here we go now. Question, what are the different types of HIV tests? There are basically three types of HIV tests. These are, nucleic acid tests or, NAT, tests, fourth generation HIV test kits, and rapid antibody only HIV test kits. Question, how is HIV tested? Your doctor will test you for HIV by taking a sample of your blood and urine or rubbing the test kit against your gums. Question, what do HIV test kits detect? Well, this is how HIV test kits will detect your HIV. NAT tests are kits that detect the genome of HIV. These kits detect the actual virus by detecting the viral DNA or RNA. These tests can also be used to know the amount of virus in your blood at a given time, a term we call your viral load. People who are doing well usually have a very low viral load, or we call it undetectable HIV. The role of any HIV medication is to reduce your viral load to undetectable levels. Fourth generation HIV test kits detect both HIV antibodies and antigens. After HIV exposure and infection, the virus develops specific features that help your body's immunity to recognize and fight it. We call those features HIV antigens. Antigens start appearing after 10 to 14 days and their amount usually decreases over time. After 4 weeks of infection, your body starts producing antibodies to fight the virus. Detecting either HIV antibodies or HIV antigens signifies you are infected. Rapid antibody-only HIV tests are kits that detect only HIV antibodies. Question, what is the current HIV window period? If you want to test your HIV with the highest accuracy, then you will definitely need to test outside the window period. The window period is the time from the day of infection to the day when your HIV can be detected by testing kits. For instance, HIV RNA or NAT tests have the shortest window period of 10 to 33 days, fourth generation tests have a window period of 14 to 45 days, and antibody-only rapid tests have the longest window period of 33 days to 90 days. So, as you can see, each test kit has a different window period. Your HIV test will have the maximum accuracy only when it's done after the window period. Question. What is the best HIV test? The best test kit is the one with the shortest test window period. For instance, HIV RNA should be the best because it gives the highest accuracy from 33 days but the problem is that, this test kit is very expensive and is not available in many testing centers. This leaves any fourth generation test kit the least expensive and is the best too. In all developed countries, fourth generation tests are used as baseline tests. If you test positive, the HIV RNA test is recommended as a confirmatory test. In developing countries, you will most likely settle on rapid antibody-only test kits. Question, can you be HIV positive and test negative? Yes, we call this a false negative test result. This implies the test kit you used failed to detect your virus. Possible causes of false negative test results include, testing within the test window period, low viral load, for instance, if you are already taking HIV treatment, there is a small chance, if you recently got any vaccine, if you are participating in any treatment clinical studies, if your results are mishandled or misinterpreted, testing kit errors etc. If you really think you could be infected, better test at least more than two times, four weeks apart. Do not use symptoms to confirm an HIV diagnosis. Early HIV symptoms are no different from other common diseases people suffer from. 
So, the presence of symptoms does not mean HIV infection. If you have HIV phobia and anxiety, you will continue experiencing false symptoms. Actually, more than 98% HIV clients in my hospital clinic have zero symptoms. If you tested negative but still have HIV symptoms, then what you have is HIV phobia and anxiety. You will need to clear your mind from those false thoughts in order to feel better. What you should know is that, phobia and anxiety cause false physical symptoms. What you should know is that, phobia and anxiety causes false physical symptoms. Hopefully, your question is, what is the latest on the HIV test window period? Is now answered.